Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm waiting for this Toji break. Two, one, I will just take this trade right now. Oh my god, we have a gap down. So it's against us, okay? Let's see the trend. The trend is a major ranging market, okay? So we don't know if the market is going up or going down. In ranging markets, usually the last time it touched the resistance, it tries to come down and uh, touch the support down here, okay? So in a ranging market, price keeps moving between support and resistance. In this case, the last time we touched this resistance and now we're coming down, okay? And this is a doji break. The only thing that is against us is this gap down, okay? It happens and there's nothing we can do about it unless we wait a couple of seconds before taking the trade and when, when we see the gap down, we just avoid trading, okay? But for me, uh, it's been a long time. I just don't wait and just enter and I take the risk of losing sometime because of these gaps, okay? So uh, it's really up to you. Okay, we have triple. Uh, I mean, th this is the third time uh, we've seen this rejection. So, uh, it could be a common point of rejection for the next move. And now the price is inside of this uh, price channel and it has been coming down. So, it can be a retracement right here and then keep dropping. Okay, it really depends on the market. Okay, uh, let's just check for the other opportunities. Guys, make sure you join the Telegram channel. I share my students' results uh, and sometimes they're uh, live trading. It's pretty fun. You can just join and watch so you can see that the price has been coming up and then it created this and then it's gonna break to the upside okay so now uh, this breakout is associated with this engulfing pattern you know that inside of the engulfing patterns we might have a setup okay let me see we don't have any setup here yet Okay, we don't have any um, setup here. I was looking for uh, something like this to take the trade, but okay, it's fine. You just go back to one minute. Oh, we we also had this gap down, so it was it it could be a very good opportunity, but we didn't see the setup, so we're not gonna take any trade if we're not seeing anything. Okay. So here we have a uh, doji, but it can be a swing doji because we haven't created a range here. We need a range to trade dojis, okay? So we're just not going to take that. Okay, you can see that the market is a major uptrend. Now we are in the space again. And minor trend also, rally and base, and we can have another rally, all right? And this trade right here, it's a common point of rejection, it could be, okay? But it's against the trend, so I should have taken this with 50, okay? Okay, I take this with 50, only 10 seconds left. And yeah, when you take in common points of rejection, you have to make sure that you have the safest entry, okay? Let me see... All right, this is the best, yeah. Entering exactly right here would be best. All right, and whenever you're going against a trend and when you are not sure about the particular trade, just lower the amount, okay? Don't risk it too much, all right? Don't risk it too much. If you're trading with 200, for example, only take confident trade with 200. Other trades, it should be taken with less amount. Uh, for me, it's 50, okay? Um, yes, this is a QM. You can see this is a QM, right? So this is my QM base. Uh, we might miss this opportunity. Let's see. Okay, we have Ingolf in the three minutes. I don't see the entry. The entry is down here. Look, it came down here for the entry. Look how beautiful the entry was exactly right here. All right, because we don't have any other fresh supply area here. Okay, and if this is the base zone for us, 
we have to find entry below the zone, preferably for best result. And this is the only fresh demand area for us. So we will take our trade here. In some cases, you can see this is a uh, 10 minute time frame, right? Uh, in some cases, when we losing a entry, just like this one, you can see it has created another QM, see? So if the price comes down, we are probably gonna be able to take another trade here, but it gets a little, you know, higher risk. But I don't think it's gonna come down, so we're just gonna move on. And also in trading, you have to learn. Sometimes you have to be very good at moving on, all right? If you don't move on and keep forcing yourself to take this trade, you're gonna mess up. Gonna mess that up. You just move on. You missed the opportunity, just move on. There's millions of opportunities in this market, okay? All right, you can see we are at this QM area and QM um, already worked, okay? And now we are trying to go up and we're creating an angle. Let's see, I need this to close and then I decide. Oh my god, we just missed this opportunity. We have a double breakout of Doji. Look, double breakout. That's crazy, isn't it? We just missed this opportunity. Oh, again, bro. Okay, I take this trade right here. And this is a Doji break. You can see the previous time it works. So this time also high probability. Uh, to work out for us. My entry is a little bad. So if I lose this, I deserve this loss, okay? Okay, if I was losing to losing this, I wouldn't be mad, bro, because my entry was bad. Alright. You know, this is also low, high, low, low, high, high. So this area is a very Q, I mean, poor QM. But it, again, when we have it combined, I'm sorry, my phone is ringing. All right. Okay, I take a sell right here, one more. Okay, because you can see we're breaking this doji, right? And we are at this QM area as well. Okay, so I take this trade. That's a very good opportunity. We have gap up as a confirmation here as well. You can see we are at this QM area, you see? A, B, C, and then broke. So this is going to be the QM zone. So it's um, it's seller's entry in general. And then we have this doji broken. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Just like this one, look. A, B, C to the upside, and then we broke this. And this is the QM area. So if there was any doji, if this was doji, this trade would be beautiful, right? So yeah, today I struggled to find a lot of positions. So we're just gonna stop right here. When you're not able to find good positions, you have to look for them, even if it takes an hour, okay? You don't necessarily need to end your trading session in five minutes. Thank you for watching everybody. Peace out.